Next, we'd like to talk about the game's most powerful attack, mm -hmm. the Rising Rush. Yep. It's, uh, we'd like to think it's very iconic of the Dragon Ball Legends action. <laughs> it's yeah. an ultimate attack done by all the party members in you uh, that are still standing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think it looked super cool. That's, I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, we put a lot of effort into that too. And also it is literally one of the most powerful available attacks in the game. So mm -hmm. just like with uh, the vanishing step, it can make or break that game in an instant. Yeah, it sure can. Uh -huh. So. We have our phone right here. Let's actually show the users how it's done. Okay. Hopefully they know, but it is a simple explanation before moving on. Mm -hmm. All right, so on the right side, right above your uh, arts card, you can right. see those Dragon Balls lined up. Yeah. There's a total of seven. You get mm -hmm. all seven, you can do your Rising Rush. Yeah, it's that easy. It's that easy. <laughs> and your uh, Dragon Balls, you can acquire them by using arts card with those Dragon Balls on them. Mm -hmm. So right now on your screen, uh, I think your Blast card Yeah, my has Blast it. has it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, try using that. Boop. Take that. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, I let you. What? No. <laughs> so you have your uh, Rising Rush button showing up. Right. So uh, I'm going to talk a bit in detail. Keep in mind, it is a powerful attack, but it doesn't make you invulnerable. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot better to do it during a combo. Maybe you can uh, shoot me with a key blast and then move on to the rising rush. Sure. And there we go. Haha, <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> so you choose one card. I choose one card. I clearly didn't didn't look at the screen. Yeah, obviously, you, you, you didn't see my card. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh wow! Oh my God! What what a coincidence! I got it. <laughs> So the attack goes through, it deals massive damage. It sure and, does. Uh, unfortunately, this is a debug mode, so Piccolo will not die. <laughs> I'm cheating, right? <laughs> but uh, so let's just uh, give a simple overview of what just happened. Mm -hmm. Get seven Dragon Balls. Seven. Get the button show up. Rising Rush. Rising Rush. And then the attacker, the person who used the Rising Rush, mm -hmm. will have four cards available in front of them. Right. Those four cards, just like the ones that you have right now on screen, uh, will be the ones that are in your hand currently. Whereas the Defender will have uh, all four types of arts card available to choose from. Mm. Each side will wager a card. If the Defender chooses the same card as the Attacker, the Rising Rush will fail. Right. If it goes through, if the cards are different, then your attack goes through and you most definitely probably will defeat that character. Good. Uh-huh. Crush my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, uh, make sure to keep track of maybe what kind of cards the opponent's using. Yeah. Because those cards that the opponents are choosing from are their own deck. Meaning, if they immediately used a special arts card, mm -hmm. there's a very low chance of them being able to choose it again in the Rising ru uh, Rush. Okay. I didn't know that either. Uh -huh. <laughs> the attacker's cards are chosen from their deck. The Defender has all four choices available. Okay, mm -hmm. good to know, good yep. to know. I'm learning so much. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe like your, your attacker mm -hmm. is constantly using a Blast card. It might be wise to think about how they might have a Strike card in their hand and saving it up for a Rising Rush. Hmm. Oh, another thing about the Rising Rush is the combo that you just saw earlier, right. they're actually done through those cards that the attacker didn't choose from. Oh, okay. So, yep. So like, let's say you have four choices. One of them is a special arts. Mm -hmm. You don't choose it as a wager card. The special arts will be used in that Rising Rush combo. That's really cool. Uh -huh. I didn't so know that. So if you actually want to deal more damage, you might be smarter to leave that special arts card, not to wager. Things like that. Yeah, okay. No, that's really cool. Seriously, I, I, I didn't know any of this. It changes the animation during the combo too, so. Mm. And some of the characters have uh, unique animations like uh, Kaioken Goku. Right. His green card's uh, combo is the uh, dive attack that uh, really beat up uh, Nappa. Yeah. So uh, another thing to be careful about in uh, Rising Rush is mm -hmm. it can be dodged. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you had that happen to you? Oh, yeah, yeah, did, mul <laughs> multiple times. So that's why you want to make sure you have your vanishing, mm -hmm. and that's why you want to make sure they don't have it. Gotcha. The best way to make sure that happens is by connecting it through a combo. 
like yeah. you did earlier. Those cannot be dodged, but they can be um, alleviated by changing to a different character, maybe. Right. But that's really about it. You're still going to take the full heat. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's still a risk depending mm -hmm. on the character that you switch to. Uh-huh. Maybe you might uh, panic and maybe switch to a character you didn't want to lose. Right. Like, if anything, you might accidentally pick the disadvantage one. Uh-huh. So you got to be careful about that. And another thing, it can actually be stopped by certain attacks. Oh? The Rising Rush. Hmm. Uh, specifically, actually, when I was uh, doing the uh, example fight yeah, 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 yeah. earlier, I stopped it with a cooler special attack. Right. Special attacks can stop Rising Rush. I is it all special attacks? Most special attacks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we say most because we might uh, one day come up with special attacks that can't. <laughs> oh, okay. But we'll see. That's in the future. So special attacks uh, will most definitely <laughs> stop Rising Rush. So maybe when uh, your opponent activates it immediately and there's enough space between you and the enemy, mm -hmm. you might want to use that Kamehameha to stop it. Okay, good mm -hmm. to know. So uh, it should show up on the screen right now, I think. Rising Rush, biggest attack of the game. You want to use it when it's most effective, obviously, obviously. but you want to make sure it hits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it can be dodged. It's, number one, it can be dodged will be dodged most likely, and uh, the enemy will anticipate it if you don't use it correctly. And two, you should prioritize uh, using Arts Card with uh, Dragon Balls on them, actually. Yeah. Because uh, you want to have that Rising Rush ready in yeah. your hand. Yeah, in case of anything. Uh-huh. And three, you don't want to waste your Rising Rush. You know, when your opponent maybe has like that sliver of health left. Oh, yeah. You want to bother using that Rising Rush? I mean, if it's the last one. Well, oh, okay, yeah, that, that's a given. <laughs> I don't want to show them any mercy. Mm -hmm. you, want, <laughs> you want them to make sure the last thing they see is a blinding flash of light. Yes. Uh -huh. But besides that situation, right? You, want to, you don't want to waste that Rising Rush. You know it deals a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. And of course, four, uh, in the end, it's a bit of a gambling in terms of whether the Waging card can be guessed or not. Mm. It can be a... Uh, it, in certain situations, maybe it, you can kind of guess what might be chosen over others. Like, okay, he just used his special arts right before this. If he has it again, that I'm just unlucky then. Yeah, it's all about math. Uh -huh. Counting cards, baby. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so, uh, four big parts about Rising Rush. And just like with cover mechanic, just keep using it. Get the hang of it. Mm -hmm. uh, find out maybe there's certain characters that you want to use it more with or certain characters that you want to receive it with. Yeah, practice. Practice makes perfect. Definitely. So one of the most overlooked things in Dragon Ball Legends PvP when you're playing, you're mm. fighting someone, is uh, tapping. Like, tap blast, tap attacks. Oh yeah, those simple attacks that's yeah. not arts card based. Right. Mm -hmm. That is actually very correct. A lot of people kind of forget about it. Yeah. You um, connect your combos with your uh, strike attack, or mm -hmm. blast attack, special attacks. You kind of forget that you actually have two more moves that you can always do. Yeah. Definitely. In fact, you know what? Let's just show how it's done okay. to the viewers and show uh, tips and tricks as to what you can do with them. Okay. So let's start off with the tap attacks, the normal melees. Okay. Those activate when you are in close range with each other. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, tap anywhere on the screen that is not on the characters or the cards. <laughs> not on the characters or the cards. So that was one tap. That is two taps. And do it three more times. There we go. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. There are actually three variations to it. One tap where you just uh, bonk him in the face once. Right. Two taps where you deal moderate damage, but uh, you can immediately move afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then three taps, like you just show right now, where it right. pushes the enemy to uh, mid-range. Right. Mm -hmm. It's actually very useful to uh, finish off characters. Like, let's say, for example, you want to finish me off right now. I'm not gonna die because I'm cheating. How dare but, you? Uh -huh. How dare I? But, in this case, it would normally work if you punched me. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it might be a waste to use that uh, strike arts card or uh, that special arts card on somebody with one health left. Yeah, uh -huh. or, you know, you just want to show them ultimate humiliation. Okay, maybe that's another case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it depends on the player. <laughs> it depends on the player, but if, strictly speaking for, uh, you know what, for this video's case. <laughs> right. 
you'd maybe like to prioritize keeping those cards mm -hmm. in your hand. And another thing, you can actually uh, bait dodges too. Okay. So let's take a distance. Okay. When you're not in close quarters with the enemy, you tap the screen and you do that tap blast attack. In right. fact, I'm going to change characters just because Piccolo's immortal. But <laughs> he's immortal. But uh, there's no combo to this one, like with the strike, right. tap, tap, normal tap attacks. This tap blast is just a single key blast. But mm -hmm. on my screen, it shows an exclamation mark. In fact, I'll do one tap blast attack to you. Okay. You see that exclamation mark, some people might instinctively dodge. Right. I can't tell if you did that for my sake or no. if... <laughs> <laughs> no, did that was genuinely... just instinct. <laughs> <laughs> so just like that, you can bait dodges like that. Okay. A lot of people like to keep a distance between each other. Right. To make sure they can uh, counter enemies attack. Mm. Well, that's when you might want to use those random tap blasts. Mm -hmm. It makes it seem like they're actually going to use a Blast Arts card like I'm going to use right now. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, no mercy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in actuality, it is just one bonk to the face. Hmm. Okay. It's another uh, technique that a lot of high-level players use. As, <laughs> as you can see, I'm not high-level. <laughs> now you know. But uh, it allows for players to maybe uh, fake and give like uh, mm. those fake attacks you see, and make them waste their vanishing gauge. And the moment you dodge, you're vulnerable unless you change to another character or use a special attack that can maybe block yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. So like, let's say uh, you, you, you do a normal tap blast attack. I dodge, you can attack immediately, and I don't have anything to defend myself. With. Right. Mm -hmm. Unless I change characters, of course. Right. So it's another technique that uh, you should maybe keep in mind. Of course, most people should uh, get used to uh, using arts attacks, connecting combos, switching characters, and learning the Rising Rush. Once they get comfortable with the fighting, once they understand like the element factors and such, these are small tips and tricks where uh, it really might change the tide of the game. Yeah. Wow. That, that's all really helpful. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I'm glad. Normal attacks are one of the best ways to uh, maybe just give moderate damage when you don't have arts card or when you don't want to use that one arts card left. Right. Mm -hmm. And vanishing steps are very important, so you want to make sure the enemy doesn't have it. Faint, use uh, blast art and, uh, not arts, I'm sorry, B blast attacks through tapping the screen mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, lure it out. Yeah. Make, make them waste it. Yeah, lure them and strategize. It's all good. I'm going to be a pro, I swear. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know what? I, I'm looking forward to you getting better. <laughs>